will you stop? Mm. Oh, now the truth is out. My embraces repel you. My kisses you find unbearable. I find that your kisses and your embraces make it very difficult to concentrate. Well, why do you need to concentrate? You're a woman. Sorry about that. Now then, <clears throat> we sent out so many invitations to this party. I have got to remember every single name on that list. Why don't you just use your original list? I threw it away after I sent out the invitation. Then was when you needed the concentration. I know. However, I've got to go and talk to every single person personally or call them on the phone because with the Christmas mails, the way they've been... Wait a minute, wait. Lately. I have a better idea. When you reconstruct this little list of yours, why don't you just send out a new invitation telling them to please disregard the previous invitation. How's that? Hmm? Huh? As I was saying, with the Christmas mails the way they've been lately, nobody will ever get their invitation in time. I'm doing the only practical thing. I guess that I uh, just don't affect you the same way that you affect me. You see, I find it very difficult to concentrate and do work when you're this close. I hate to seem compulsive, but you're coming between me and my work. Ah. <clears throat> well, then, can I tell you that uh, dinner was wonderful, dear? Thank you very much. Fantastic! I think I remembered everybody. But, um, you didn't seem to be enjoying dinner as much as the rest of us. I was self-conscious. Self-conscious? Yes, I felt as if David was watching every move I made. Hmm. I didn't notice. But the fact is, I don't see how he possibly could have been. I mean, he spent almost the whole evening talking to Laura about her Christmas vacation. Wonderful. Suggesting that she get a group of friends together and go to Lake Placid for a skiing weekend. Well, what's wrong with that? You're the one that keeps telling her that she ought to spend more time with friends her own age. Not at Lake Placid on a skiing weekend. Mm-hmm. And, um, what did you have in mind? Something like a, a sit-in at the public library, huh? Oh, honey, don't tease me, please, when I'm so concerned. Well, I just think that your concern is misplaced. Honey, I think you're gonna have to face the fact that Laura is a young adult. <laughs> no matter how much you want to not look at it. I know. It's hard to face some things. Like when she comes home from a date with Scotty. She sits out there in the car. Why not invite him in the house? Because you made it very plain that you don't approve of their relationship. That's why. Why is it that everyone in the world, even David, who hardly knows her, understands Laura better than I do? Uh, thank you, my love. You may just put it anywhere. I will drink it when I finish with this list. Another list? <laughs> I thought that when you reconstructed your guest list, that uh, that would be the last one. This is my last minute shopping list. Can I, uh, can I look? Is it all right? Sure. You want to help me think of a couple of stocking stuffers for Laura? <laughs> Laura, you already bought out half the town for Laura. I know. <laughs> I want this to be a Christmas she will never forget. The first one with the three of us together. Well, I... I can't think of a thing. I saw a nifty little wallet the other day that I was going to buy on the spot, except I couldn't remember whether or not hers was in good shape. Why don't you just ask her? That is not the way it's done. I'll wait until her back is turned. Check her purse. You what? It's all right. This happens to be Christmas. Christmas is a time for secrets. Mm -hmm. We can take out time from playing house for a short question and answer period. You're the one with the questions, I assume. Only one, really. I just want to know why you were so cool to David tonight. I mean, you invited him in for coffee and dessert, and then you hardly spoke to him. I really hadn't gotten over finding Laura alone in his room with him yet. Honey, I, I think you're taking something quite innocent and blowing it all out of proportion. After all, Laura's just a couple of years older than David's daughter was. She's a very pretty girl who thinks of herself as a mature, sophisticated woman. I don't care if David's an Eagle Scout. I don't like her sneaking down the back stairs to be alone in his room with him secretly. <laughs> Darling, poor David. 
explained to you again and again that it was secret because they were going over Christmas ideas and Laura was helping him. And they couldn't have done it in the kitchen. Well, I think you explained to David how you feel. He's not an insensitive guy, you know. Well, if I did, maybe that's good. I don't want it to happen again. I seem to remember that you were the one that said that Christmas is the time for secrets. Well, I don't see anything wrong with David and Laura sharing a few. Oh, Rick. Now, I've completed that molehill. Let's see if I can get this into the kitchen without making a mountain out of it. Heather pulled through her illness, but Stephen Lars didn't. He died three weeks ago. Jeff, I don't know what to say. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Oh, I'd have only been asking you to share my misery. I mean, what, what could you have done? I could have given you a shoulder to lean on. Can't you read? It's me, Karen. Said that Christmas is the time for secrets. Well, I don't see anything wrong with David and Laura sharing a few. Oh, Rick. Now I've completed that molehill. Let's see if I can get this into the kitchen without making a mountain out of it. Heather pulled through her illness, but Stephen Lars didn't. He died three weeks ago. Jeff, I don't know what to say. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Oh, I'd have only been asking you to share my misery. I mean, what, what could you have done? I could have given you a shoulder to lean on. It would have been too late for the kind of help I needed. You know, in a way, I blame myself for what happened. If I hadn't let her go, or if, or if I'd gone to New York after her right away, my son might still be alive today. Well, everything's fine. Except I'm beginning to wonder if inviting David Hamilton to recuperate at the house was uh, a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't think that was such a good idea in the first place. Well, I, I guess that it hasn't been easy on Les. Well, I'd resent it, too, if uh, I were newly married and was presented with an invalid guest. No, no it's more than that. Leslie is suspicious of, of every move that he makes. I don't know. Maybe she just got too much on her mind with, with trying to straighten out her relationship with Laura. Is that pre-lunch or post-lunch coffee? It is lunch. I've got too much work piled up to pamper myself. Oh, well. Sorry you have to run. I wanted to tell you I saw uh, your name on Alan's list. You're scheduled for the helicopter trip later this week. Mm, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. I have a lot of patients that want to get out of the hospital before Christmas. Mm. Speaking of that, would you believe those mails? You know my invitation to your open house party never got to me. Well, don't bother to write your postmaster general about it. Well, that's gratitude for you. After all, I've been very good lately. I did everything that you said right down to the letter. I told Laura that she was not to come to me for advice anymore because it was upsetting her mother. You could have done it a little more subtly, but um, thank you anyhow. Well, in any event, I don't see you over the holidays. I hope your first Christmas as a family man is a happy one. Thank you, Monica. Merry Christmas to you, too. I looked all over town for another set of his and hers towels, but you know the shops are all out of them? I mean, they must be hanging in every bathroom in town. The fact that the outlandish request that you're making Okay, okay. I will do my best to discourage Laura for coming to me for advice. For good advice. Thank you. However... I knew that there was going to be a however. However, the lady uh, whose name that you would prefer I didn't mention may find that Laura not coming to me for advice might create problems that she didn't anticipate. Now am I supposed to ask what you mean by that? Sure, ask away. Uh-uh. I, uh, 
I think I'll take a pass. See you. Ta ta. <laughs> What are you up to? I'm up to my ears in debt. Trying to pay off some of these accounts before the Christmas bills start rolling in. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> yeah, I remember that feeling. Oh, yeah. I'd like to help us trim the tree. As far as I know, I haven't made any other plans. Don't forget.